Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie and today I'm going to be sharing my tips and tricks on how I read more books as well as some recommendations. <laughs> year and a half I've realized that I actually am reading a whole lot more as well as faster and getting more things done and I've had a few people be like I don't know where you find the time or how you read so many books and I don't know either but I decided to write these down and share my tips and tricks with y'all so without further ado I will give you guys some tips that I've learned as well as some recommendations the first tip which i swear by and i know it's not for everyone but it is audiobooks i personally love audiobooks especially with a good narrator i feel like it really makes the story come to life and one thing i really love is physically reading the book as it's being told to me like i feel like i read faster i comprehend more sometimes as well if i have like a longer drive to a place I will actually listen to it as I drive versus listening to the radio or Spotify and things like that. Audiobook services that I use is Audible, Libro FM, Scribd. I use Libby and Overdrive from my local library. It, it's completely free with those. If you guys are interested in any of those audiobook services I will leave links down below in the description. But one thing I really like about audiobooks is it really helps me distinguish people or timelines as well. And one book that I have that's a recommendation that fits perfectly is The Sundown Motel. If you don't know what this one is about, it's about a woman in the 1980s and then a woman in present day. Then a woman in 1980 started working at this hotel and then she just went missing. Now in the present day, her niece is going back to this hotel just to figure out what happened to her. And the reason why I wanted to use this one is when I first started reading this without the audiobook, I noticed that both points of views in the two different timelines were sounding very, very similar. So I picked up the audiobook, and one thing I love is that it sounded like it was two different narrators. So they had two different voices. And so it made the reading experience so much better. I did give this one four stars. I would recommend it if you're looking for something a little bit spookier than your normal domestic thriller. So definitely check this one out. Another tip that I have is to find a type of format or genre that you particularly like. Everyone knows that I love thrillers, but one thing I really like is dual timelines or dual points of views and one thing that I would recommend is Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. This one is really interesting because this one involves a woman named Maggie who when she was like five or six years old she was living in this house with her parents and spooky stuff started to happen. They left in the middle of the night. She doesn't remember anything that happened in this house but her dad went and wrote a famous book about their experience in this house. So you're following Maggie, who is going back to this house in her 20s after her father has passed away and she inherits the house to so try to figure out exactly what happened because she doesn't believe what's in the book really happened. And then you're also following the books chapters that her father wrote about their time in the house. And one thing that I particularly love about this is when I was reading this book, I found myself being like, oh, I'm reading Maggie's chapters. This house is completely not haunted. And then I would read the dad's chapters in his book and I'd be like, holy crap, this house is haunted. And I just loved how I had mixed feelings about like, is this house haunted? Is it not? I don't know. My next tip on how to get yourself to read faster or more books is the Forest app. I absolutely love this app because it really motivates me to get off social media. <laughs> And TikTok and actually read the book that I want to read. And the recommendation I would do is The Night Swim. I was reading this in August and this is when I really started to use the Forest app and it really motivated me to read this more. What the Forest app is basically you set a timer. I think it's from like 10 minutes to like two hours. And basically it makes you not be able to leave the app on your phone. Of course, for emergencies, you're more welcome to, but it motivates you to stay on the app. Don't leave the app to go check your Facebook or check your text messages. It has a timer. And as the timer continues, you're growing like a tree or sunflowers or pumpkin. Very, very interesting. And you can build your own little forest. But if you leave the app, your whole tree dies. So 
And the other option is you can actually plant with friends. People in my book club, we actually do like little planting sessions. And if one person in our group leaves, everyone's tree dies and you have this dead tree in your forest. So it really motivates you to actually get to reading. This one I was struggling a little bit to get into, but using the forest app, it actually made me want to continue reading, get this one done. I absolutely love this book. I originally gave it four stars, but then as I kept thinking about it, I was like, this is really a five star book for me. So if you don't know what The Night Swim is, this one is about a woman who does a true crime podcast. And basically she is very successful and she's getting ready to start her third season. And instead of doing cold cases or cases that happened in the past, she is actually doing a rape trial in a local town as it's going on. And she really makes you feel like you're in the jury box, like figuring out like, is this boy innocent? Is the girl making it up? It's really, really good. As she's going along, she gets these notes from someone else who is saying like, hey, this happened. I really wish she would look into it. And you kind of get chapters of the past of this person who's leaving these notes. I really liked this one because it does touch on heavier topics like rape. So that is a big trigger warning in this book. So please do your research before going in there. But I really enjoyed this one. Plus the audiobook is really, really good because you get like her whole like podcast settlement with like sound effects and everything. So I would definitely check this one out. Number four, find a buddy that you want to read a book together and buddy read it. So I really don't do that many buddy reads just because I like to go at my own pace, whether it's slower or faster than other people. So it's really hard to like keep up or slow down with them. But what I particularly like is finding out like events that are happening like, oh, we're reading this book in the month of January. You should totally read it with us and talk about it. Live shows on YouTube as well as in your local book clubs can really help you. One of the books I read last year, I think in October, was The Secret She Keeps by, I can't remember the author, but my friend Jacqueline was doing a live show with two other YouTubers about this book. And it really motivated me to get this book read before the live show. And I actually really, really enjoyed this one. It involves two women who are pregnant, which that's another trope that I like is pregnant women and thrillers. But it's about two pregnant women. One is, you know, had a really hard life. She doesn't make a lot of money. She works at a local grocery store. The other one is a pretty wealthy woman who has like the dream husband, the perfect life. And she shops at the grocery center. And they slowly become friends. And then like things get crazy. Lies are being told and secrets. So I really, really enjoyed this one. I would definitely check it out. But I loved reading this one for that live show, even though I wasn't a booktuber at that time, but getting that motivation to join the live show, comment, you know, throughout the show really inspired me to like want to do more buddy reads. I would definitely check that one out if that's something that motivates you. Another tip that I have is if you have an author that you read a book by and you absolutely loved it, read more of their work. Even if it's backlist, you don't have to wait on their new release. I personally liked The Perfect Child by Lucinda Berry. It's one of my favorites that she's written and I love it and recommend it all the time. And it really inspired me to pick up more of her books. I have When She Returned and The Best of Friends. I actually just did a vlog on The Best of Friends. so I will link that down below. But I really enjoyed her writing style. She is a former psychologist. So she works with like childhood trauma and it really shows in her writing that she knows what she's talking about. So that's one thing I particularly like about her writing. There's other authors that we can talk about like Colleen Hoover. Everyone knows I love Colleen Hoover. So I would definitely check out her stuff because I personally like it. But yeah, find an author you like and just check off everything that they've written. My next tip is something that you are already doing and is watching recommendation videos or following people who recommend a lot of books. I personally like Gabby Reads and I would have never read this book if she hadn't done a video, but this is Kill Creek. It's actually technically horror, but I probably would have not read this unless she would have talked about it and said how much she likes about it and give me little glimpses of what the book entails. This is about four authors who are invited to stay the night at this infamous haunted house. Like just crazy stuff happens and I really, really enjoyed it. And I wouldn't have got this book if it wasn't for Gabby. So definitely check out other booktubers. I have plenty of thriller recommendations as well on my channel. So definitely check that one out as well. All right guys, the last tip that I have to offer you is probably the most basic 
and I'm sorry to throw this in here, but prioritize it. You know, if reading a book or reading more is that important to you, make it a priority. Instead of staying on TikTok for three hours, like myself, make reading a priority or set yourself some goals. Like if you're only reading one book a month, try to push yourself to read two books a month. I personally love reading. It's more than just a hobby. I feel like it's kind of like my lifestyle now. I love talking about books and it really inspires me to like reach out to other people on social media or to talk about books to my friends in real time who don't read. And I've actually gotten a few people to actually start reading more because I love it so much. All right, guys, that is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you got some really good reading tips. If you have any questions, feel free to like comment down below or DM me on Instagram, which by the way, you should follow me. It's at reading with Jess underscore. And I would love to answer your questions or talk to you all about book related things. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on another book video. And I hope you guys are all doing well and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.